Number three then, from the second paper of the 2014 National Five, there you go, simultaneous equations, six marks. And you look at the first part of this, it gives you the information, two groups of people go to a theatre. Five adult tickets, three children's tickets, 158, 25, write down an equation, three adult tickets, two children's tickets, 98 pounds, write down an equation. There's two marks for almost nothing, just picking out those three numbers, those three numbers. And then four marks for finally finding the cost of an adult and the cost of a children. Well, there's no mention of what letters to use, so you can choose your own. Usually you just write them down nowadays, and it's just you that knows what they mean until you translate them back at the end. I still prefer to state at the beginning, I'm going to use A. Now, A isn't the number of adults. I'm going to say, let's like define my variables. Let A be the cost of an adult ticket. And also stating the unit in pounds. So I don't need to bother putting the pound sign down. Took a bit of writing, but when it comes to C, I can just use dittos. Cost of, I suppose, strictly speaking, I can't put ditto for and. I'm just going to anyway, even though it's just an A. Of a child's ticket. Oh, I don't need the word ticket, do I? Ditto, ditto, ditto. There, I've defined my variables. Obviously, there's no marks for that. I just think it's good practice just to do that. Define your variables, first of all. Right, write down an equation to illustrate this. Well, there you go. Five adult tickets and three children's tickets comes to 158.25. And that's a mark. I'm going to call that equation one first because I'm going to use it again. B. Three adult tickets plus two children's tickets comes to £98. I'll call that equation two. There's a mark. Two easy wee marks. I haven't done anything, in fact, apart from pick out the numbers. But part C, now what's the cost? Well, the way you'll be doing this is by elimination. Knock out one of the variables. So you just end up with one equation with one variable so you can solve it. You're going to get do that by multiplying them. But I need a plan. And the plan will be which one would be easier to knock out. Those have got the smallest numbers. Now, normally, again, you don't do this. I just think it's good practice to state your intention. I'm going to eliminate C. How will I achieve that? By multiplying these equations up, scaling it up. If I can make them both into sixes, they can get knocked out. So doubling this equation and tripling that equation should achieve it. Notice I didn't put the times two up there because that would be an intention. This is actually what I'm going to write will be equation one that's been doubled. So strictly speaking, that's where that two times it should appear to explain this equation. It's number one doubled. Well, doubling that's going to be 10a plus 6c equals, and then doubling that will be 316.5. Or you could just use your calculator there to help. Three times this, 9a plus and it has to be 6c because that was the whole plan, equals, now 3 times that, well that's almost 300, isn't it? Just take away a 6. So 294. Now, if you subtract them, the c's will disappear, and very handily, a just, that just knocks down to a single a. That's 6 away from 300, so 22.5. Now, that was a mark, that was a mark. This whole plan here, this whole technique of elimination, and deciding to multiply and what to multiply by and multiplying the equations was only one mark. The next mark is for finding, or rather having a plan to find A and C, which would be, of course, subtract the equations and substitute it back in. It's not clear where the marks would go exactly. So if you substitute 22.5 back into one of them, and the easier one would be to put it into number two, so subtracting and substituting, according to the mark scheme, was the next mark. So I'll just put it up here with the substitution. There's still a bit of arithmetic to do here because I've got three of them. So three times that would be 66. So that's 67.5 plus 2c equals 98. Now you could have put just two times it and then used another line. But then the next mark's not going to come until you've got both of those answers. So you could just do that in the calculator, subtract that and half it. I'll put it in the working halfway through though. So subtracting it, that's just that's almost 68, that's 30.5. And halving that's going to be 15.25. Now you get 
the next mark. So there's five marks so far. Notice, even though those two numbers there are the answers, you're not getting your final mark until you've answered the question. It said, calculate the cost for an adult ticket and the cost for, what does that actually say that? Calculate the cost for a ticket for an adult and the cost for a ticket for a child. But even though I've followed that protocol there, I'm still going to finish off by saying, well, what was he? It was the cost of an adult ticket, so I'll say that. Cost of an adult ticket is, and putting the money back in, £22.50. Not just £22.5, it has to be a proper amount of money. And even though I could have used dittos, I won't because it's an exam. Cost of a... It's not an English exam, luckily. Child's ticket, I know there should be some sort of apostrophe in there, is £15.25. That gets you the final mark for stating that. It had to have all the words in it. It had to have adult, it had to have child, it had to have the pound signs, it had to have two decimal places.